All right, this is third grade, module five, lesson four, and we're going to be talking about fractions. And But this time, we're going to be using some funky shapes for our holes. But before we do that, let's do a quick review on what this fraction means. What does a fraction mean? So what's the denominator? What does that five mean? So parents and teachers, if you're going to show this video to the students, you might want to pause um, because we need to review this every day. Um, eventually, I'll quit reviewing it, but right now we're still reviewing. So what does that 5 mean? That means the number of equal parts that the whole has been cut into. And what does the numerator mean, the 3? What does that 3 mean? It means the number of equal parts that are being highlighted or shaded. All right, let's, now that we've reviewed, let's get going. So this says each shape counts as our whole, and then estimate to equally partition the shape to show the given fraction. So in, in this case, we're told we want to draw a third, all right? And so, oh, let's get the green. I like green. Okay, so we need to cut this into thirds. So it's kind of like the Mercedes symbol. And then it says we're supposed to shade in one-third. So there's our shade in for one-third. And then let's do this piece. So remember, we want to cut it into three equal pieces, and which means we're only going to use two lines to create our three equal pieces. And then we're supposed to shade in one-third. So let's shade in this one. Now here's the tricky one over here. We want to take this and cut it into three equal pieces, which means we're going to do a cut and a cut. Now some teachers like to put the ends on, and now that that looks like fourths because the kids see one, two, three, four, but it's not. It's really a th it's thirds because it's the intervals that we're counting, not these lines. And if we want to highlight or shade to show a third, one way to do it is you could draw an arrow like that. That shows a third. That's good enough. And then D, uh, if we want to cut it into thirds. Oh, let's, let's get creative. Let's cut it this way and then shade it into thirds. There we go. Now here's what I recommend on this slide. Teachers, pause this video and let students identify the fraction for each of these. And then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's the order I'm going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm just going to quickly give the answers. So teachers, you might want to just pause, let your students look at each of these figures, identify the fraction, and then we will... Um, get going on this. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go with the answers. So I can see that this one is one-tenth. Ooh, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, is one-sixth. I can see this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is one-eighth. There's two here, so that's one-half. Now here's the weird one, this one. They didn't really highlight anything. They just kind of left it. I think if I were to do this, I would have highlighted by doing something like that. So I'm going to call this one-fourth. Let's go to this one. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one-fifth. And then, oh my goodness. Now, you know, a nice easy way to count is I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm just going to count one side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the other side is six, so that's twelve. So this makes it one twelfth is shaded in. And then one, two, three, one third. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 4, Identifying Fractions.